The Guatemala national football team Spanish, Selección de Fútbol de Guatemala is governed by the Federación Nacional de Fútbol de Guatemala. Founded in 1919, it affiliated to FIFA in 1946, and it is a member of CONCACAF. The team has made three Olympic tournament appearances, competing at the 1968, 1976, and 1988 Olympic Games. Guatemala have never qualified for a finals tournament of the World Cup, although they have reached the final round of qualification on four occasions. Guatemala won the 1967 CONCACAF Championship and the 2001 UNCAF Nations Cup. The team's best performance in a CONCACAF Gold Cup was in 1996, when they finished fourth. Felipe Juan Gaspar their top goal scorer, retired his career after the failure of his team to now win the Gold Cup. Guatemala has also earned a silver medal at the 1983 Pan American Games in Caracas, Venezuela. The national team kits are supplied by Umbro. Past kit suppliers include Atletica, Adidas and Puma. History The national team, nicknamed La Azul y Blanco, the Blue and White, made its debut in the Independence Centenary Games held in Guatemala City in September 1921, winning their first game 10-1 against Honduras. In the final, Guatemala were defeated 6-0 by Costa Rica. Guatemala entered a World Cup qualification process for the first time in 1958. Topic. Beginnings and first attempt in the elimination stage of the World Cup Guatemala created its first soccer team, made up of 22 players, on August 23, 1902. The team was split into two sides, blue and white. With time, clubs were made and eventually the Guatemalan national team was created in 1921. Guatemala had its first game on September 14, 1921 against Honduras. The game was played in Guatemala City and Guatemala beat Honduras 10-1. Guatemala had success in several editions of the CCCF Championship, Copa CCCF, precursor to the CONCACAF Gold Cup, Copa CONCACAF, by being the runner-up in three championships, 1943, 1946, and 1948. In 1958, Guatemala began participating in the qualifying rounds of the World Cup. It was placed in the first group, along with the teams from Costa Rica and the Netherlands Antilles. It placed last and was unable to score a single point. Topic. Success in the 60s Guatemala's performance in the qualifying rounds began to improve in the beginning of the 1960s. In 1962 it was able to tie against both Costa Rica 4-4, while playing in Guatemala, and Honduras 1-1, while playing in Tegucigalpa. However, after being placed in the second group, it once again finished last. Guatemala did not participate in the qualifying round in 1966. Before the process of elimination began, the FIFA International Federation of Association Football refused Guatemala's participation for administrative reasons. The Guatemalan national team joined CONCACAF in 1961. In 1967 it again showed the progress it had made when it participated in the CONCACAF Gold Cup. For the first time and only time in its history, it placed first in the tournament. It was also the runner-up in both 1965 and 1969. Topic: 1967 Concacaf Championship. In 1967, Honduras hosted the Concacaf Championship. Guatemala began the tournament with a 2-1 win against Haiti, followed by a 1-0 win over defending champions Mexico, a 0-0 draw against Honduras, a 2-0 win over Trinidad and Tobago, and a 2-0 win over Nicaragua, being crowned CONCACAF champions for the first time. Forward Manuel Escapeta Racinos was Guatemala's top scorer with four goals, including the game-winning goal against Mexico. Results. Topic: 1968 Olympic Games. 
In 1967, Guatemala showed some major progress by qualifying for the 1968 Olympic tournament in Mexico City. In the first round, they won 1–0 against Czechoslovakia, and 4–1 against Thailand, and lost to Bulgaria 2–1. They went on the next round where they lost to eventual champions Hungary 1–0. Topic: 21st century. Topic: 2006 FIFA World Cup qualification. Prior to the qualification process, many fans saw Carlos Ruiz as the main focus in providing goals for the national team, along with his compatriot but elder Juan Carlos Plata. Many other stars such as Freddy, Garcia, Gonzalo Romero, Guillermo Ramirez and Martin Machen were expected to play huge roles as well. In 2006 World Cup qualifying, Guatemala started off well, advancing to the third round by beating Suriname 4-2 in the second round. In the third round they finished second behind Costa Rica in Group B tying at 10 points each, advancing to the final round. In the fourth round they started off well with a 0-0 draw against Panama and a 5-1 win against Trinidad and Tobago. Then followed a 2-0 loss against United States and Mexico and a 3-2 loss against Costa Rica, and after three losses in a row they finally won against Panama 2-1, then lost against Trinidad and Tobago 3-2, tied against United States 0-0 and then lost to Mexico 5-2 once again. Guatemala had eight points with one game left, and a win and a Trinidad and Tobago loss against Mexico would get them to the playoff. They won 3-1 against Costa Rica but Trinidad and Tobago beat Mexico 2-1, ending one of the best runs in Guatemala football history. They finished in fifth place, two points away from a possible World Cup spot. Juan Carlos Plata and Martin Machen had announced their retirement from international football in 2006. Topic: 2010 FIFA World Cup qualification. After a third place finish in the Uncaf Nations Cup in 2007, having made the knockout stage in the Gold Cup of the same year, and a couple of satisfying friendly matches, including a 3-2 win against Mexico, many saw Hernán Dario Gómez as the next coach to lead Guatemala into the hexagonal in the World Cup qualifying stage. However, after losing 5-0 in early 2008 against a U23 Argentine team, fans wanted Gomez out as coach and soon the Colombian would do so. In 2010 World Cup qualifying, expectations of being able to qualify for the tournament were set among the national team as Ramon Maradiaga had returned as coach after almost leading Guatemala to the World Cup 2006. They began well by having advanced to the third round by defeating St. Lucia in a 9-1 aggregate in the second round. In the third round, Guatemala began with a 1-0 home loss to the United States, with controversies surrounding Panamanian referee Roberto Moreno, who was arbitrating the match, including not awarding a penalty in the first half in the favor of Guatemala after a handball from Steve Cherandolo as well as Gustavo Cabrera being sent off after colliding with Eddie Lewis in the second half. In their second match of round three, Los Chapines were able to take home a draw in the closing minutes of the game against Trinidad and Tobago in Port of Spain after Carlos Gallardo deflected a free kick taken by Marco Papa with his heels. On September 10, Guatemala welcomed Cuba at home for their third match. Cuba shocked the Guatemala fans by taking the lead after Roberto Liners scored in the 25th minute however by half-time, Carlos Ruiz relieved the team with an equalizer. In the second half Carlos Ruiz scored once more, Mario Rodriguez and youngster José Manuel Contreras also scored and finished the game 4-1. With the win, they were able to collect four points, putting them in second place due to having a better goal difference than Trinidad and Tobago. The next two games were crucial in advancing to the next round. On October 11, many fans have gathered around the Estadio Mateo Flores to support the national team in their home game against Trinidad and Tobago, heavily expecting a win. Despite being reduced to 10 men, the Soca Warriors were able to hold Guatemala to 0-0 stalemate, disgruntling the national team and fans. With hopes of getting a result in Havana four days later, Guatemala were unable to even get a point against Cuba, falling down 1-0 by half-time after Jamie Colomé scored a penalty. 
Marco Papa volleyed in an equalizer in the 80th minute, replenishing the confidence for the team but Urgels was able to bring Cuba back on top in the 90th minute, complicating the hopes of Guatemala in qualifying for the World Cup with one game to spare. Meanwhile, the Trinidadians defeated the United States 2-1 at home, putting them in second place. Maradiaga was fired soon right after and Benjamin Monteroso, a less ambitious coach was appointed, focusing on the upcoming edition of the Copa Uncaf the following January. A 2-0 away loss against the U.S. confirmed the elimination of the national team, having finished in third place with five points, thus missing out on the final round. In the Uncaf Nations Cup, Monteroso wanted to introduce more younger players into the starting lineup, such as Minor Lopez, Ricardo Jerez, and Wilson Lalin, but everything backfired after losing both group stage matches against Costa Rica and Panama, as well as losing astonishingly 2 0 to an inferior Nicaragua team in the playoff match for the final berth to attend the next Gold Cup. Minor Lopez was the lone goal scorer for Los Bicolors. As a result, the national team were inactive for the next two years and Benjamin Monteroso shamefully stepped down after two months in charge. Topic: 2014 World Cup cycle. On May 2010, Uruguayan-born Paraguayan Ever Hugo Almeida was appointed as the next coach for Guatemala. At the 2011 Copa Centroamericana, formerly known as the UNCAF Nations Cup. Guatemala finished in fifth place, losing to Costa Rica 2-0 and Honduras 3-1. In the fifth place match, they defeated Nicaragua 2-1 to qualify to the 2011 Gold Cup. At the 2011 Gold Cup, Guatemala drew against Honduras 0-0 despite being reduced to nine men. In the next match, they suffer a loss against a physically superior Jamaica 2-0 but manage to redeem themselves after having won against Granada 4-0 goals from José Javier del Aguila, Marco Papa, Carlos Ruiz, and Carlos Gallardo. Placing among the best third place, they saw themselves advancing to the quarter-finals, where they lost against the reigning champions Mexico 2-1 although a long ball from Elias Vazquez to Carlos Ruiz gave them the lead in the first half. For the 2014 World Cup qualifiers, Guatemala opened the qualifying campaign in the second round by sweeping six wins in six games, advancing to the third round in the same group as USA, Jamaica and Antigua and Barbuda. Prior to the start of the third round, three of Guatemala's key players Guillermo Ramirez, Gustavo Cabrera and Yanni Flores were sent home during a practice session after teammates Carlos Ruiz and Luis Rodriguez heard of their involvement in money laundering and bribery in fixing multiple fixtures, they were subsequently banned for life in participating in any football competition abroad or domestic. The team had a rough start in an away loss to Jamaica with Dwight Pizarosi only managing to pull back one goal in stoppage time. In the next match, Guatemala tied at home after Clint Dempsey managed to get a goal for the U.S., and Marco Papa's free kick later in the game managed to bring Guatemala one point. For the third game in a row, also at home, the team fell behind against Antigua and Barbuda. In the second half with the Antiguan goalkeeper Mulvin James sent off for wasting time, Carlos Ruiz was able to score a brace making the game 2-1, an additional goal from Dwight Pizarosi eventually ended the game 3-1. Four days later, a lone goal from Carlos Ruiz sufficed for an away win against Antigua and Barbuda in North Sound. In the next fixture, Guatemala beat Jamaica at home 2-1. In their last game, a minimum of a draw would be enough to get Guatemala to the final stage of the qualifiers. After taking the lead 1-0 in the first five minutes thanks to Carlos Ruiz, the USA team returned the favor by scoring three goals to crush their hopes. Guatemala finished 10 points behind the USA and Jamaica, losing out on goal difference to the Jamaicans. In January 2013, still led by Ever Almeida, Guatemala participated in the 2013 Copa Centroamericana. Consisted of mostly youngsters, Guatemala could only manage three draws in their group play 1-1 against Nicaragua, 0-0 to border rivals Belize and 1-1 against Costa Rica, losing out to Belize for direct qualification to the Gold Cup. They faced Panama in the fifth place match for the final slot in the 2013 Gold Cup in the United States but lost 3 1. Ever Almeida stepped down in favor of technical director Victor Hugo Monzon. <laughs> 2016 suspension 
On October 28, 2016, the Guatemalan Football Federation was suspended indefinitely by FIFA, after the international football governing body had appointed an oversight committee to look into allegations of corruption. FIFA stated that the Guatemalan Federation had rejected the committee's mandate to run FEDEFUT's business, organize elections, and modernize its statutes, and would remain barred from international competition until FEDEFUT ratified an extension of the mandate. The suspension was lifted on May 31, 2018, after FEDEFUT's normalization committee became fully operational. However, as a consequence, the football team missed their chance on qualifying on the 2017 and 2019 CONCACAF Gold Cup tournaments as well as the qualifying rounds for the 2019-20 CONCACAF Nations League and the 2017 Copa Centroamericana, as they missed deadlines to have their suspension lifted. <laughs> Home stadium The Estadio Nacional Mateo Flores, also known as Coloso de la Zona 5, is a multi-use national stadium in Guatemala City, the largest in Guatemala. It was built in 1948, to host the Central American and Caribbean Games in 1950, and was renamed after long-distance runner Mateo Flores, winner of the 1952 Boston Marathon. It has a capacity of 26,000 seats. Used mostly for football matches, the stadium has hosted the majority of the home matches of the Guatemala national football team throughout its history. Topic: <laughs> Competitive record. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> FIFA World Cup record. Topic: Concacaf Gold Cup record. Topic: Copa Centroamericana record. Topic: Olympic record. 1896 to 1924 did not enter. 1928 to 1964 did not qualify. 1968 quarterfinals sixth place. 1972 did not qualify. 1976 round one. 1980 to 1984 did not qualify. 1988 round one. 1992 to 2016 did not qualify. Note: Football at the Summer Olympics has been an under-23 tournament since the 1992 edition. Topic: Head-to-head record against other nations. Updated on the 15th of November 2018 after match against Israel. Positive record. Neutral record. Negative record. Topic: Schedule and recent results. Key win. Draw. Loss. Topic twenty sixteen. Topic twenty eighteen. Topic Players. Topic Current Squad The following twenty players were called up for a friendly game against Israel on the fifteenth of november twenty eighteen. Caps and goals updated as the fifteenth of november twenty eighteen after the game against Israel. Topic Recent call ups The following players have been called up during the last 12 months. Topic: <inaudible> Most capped. Players in bold text are still active with Guatemala. Asterisk banned from football on suspicions of fixing match results. Topic: 
Top scorers Players in bold text are still active with Guatemala, asterisk banned from football on suspicions of fixing match results. Managers Honours CONCACAF Championship Champions 1, 1967 Runner-up 2, 1965, 1969 Copa Centroamericana Champions 1, 2001 Runner-up 5, 1995, 1997, 1999, 2003, 2014 Third place 3, 1991, 2005, 2007 CONCACAF Men's Pre-Olympic Tournament Silver Medal 2, 1976, 1988 Pan American Gamesilver Silver Medal 1, 1983 U.S. Cup Third place 1, 1999 See also Liga Nacional de Guatemala